As I mentioned in my opening statement, we appreciate your appearance here, but we do see this as the first step. And I would just like to get your commitment that you will agree to make yourself available as the committee needs in the weeks and months ahead. Um, Senator Warren, I will, I will commit to appear before this committee and other committees as appropriate. I don't think it's a good policy to continually bring cabinet members or the attorney general for multiple committees going over the same things over and over. I know other members I of the hope. Judiciary Committee or Appropriations Committee may want well, they, to raise I'm those sure issues. But let me just ask about this committee. I just gave you my answer, Thank Mr. You. Uh, what about, can we also get your commitment, since there will be questions about some of these meetings that took place or not, that we could get access to documents or memoranda or your day book or something so we can... Mr. Chairman, we will be glad to uh, provide appropriate uh, responses to your questions and review them carefully and, and try to be yes, responsive. Yesterday, yesterday um, a friend of the president was reported to suggesting that President Trump was considering removing Director Mueller as special counsel. Do you have confidence in Director Mueller's ability to conduct his investigation fair, fairly and impartially? Well, first, I don't know about these reports and have no... Um, basis to to but I'm ascertain you, sir, their I'm asking, do validity. You? Um, I have known Mr. Mueller over the years. He served 12 years as a FBI director. He, uh, I knew him before that, and uh, I have confidence uh, in Mr. Mueller. So you have confidence. He but I am not going to uh, discuss any hypotheticals or what might be a factual situation in the future that I'm not aware of today because I know nothing do about you, the investigation. Do you believe? Fully me, recuse I've got a series of questions, sir. Do you believe the president has confidence in Director Mueller? I have no idea. I've not talked to him about it. Right. Now, if the we commit to this committee not to take any personal actions that might result in Director Mueller's firing or dismissal. Well, I think I probably could say that with confidence because I'm recused from the investigation. Recused. In fact, the way it works, uh, Senator Warner, is that the acting attorney general I'm, I'm this aware investigation, of process, but I just wanted to get you on the record that is, you would uh, not Deputy Attorney General Rod Rose with your recusal, you would not you would not take any actions to try to have Director uh, Special Investigator Mueller removed. Uh, I wouldn't think that would be appropriate for me to do. Yes, sir, I agree. Uh, to your knowledge, have any uh, Department of Justice officials been involved with conversations about any possibility of presidential pardons about any of the individuals involved with the Russia investigation? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm not able to comment on conversations with uh, uh, high officials within the White House. That would be a violation of the communications uh, rule that I I have to. It, With, is that uh, just so I can understand? Is the basis of that unwillingness to answer based on executive privilege or what? My, it's a long-standing policy of the Department of Justice not to uh, comment on conversations that the Attorney General has had with the President of the United States uh, for uh, confidential reasons that really are founded in the co-equal branch powers in the Constitution of the United States. But, but that, so, but just so I'm understanding, does that mean, are you claiming executive privilege here today, sir? I'm not claiming executive privilege because that's the president's power and I have no power to claim what about, executive privilege. What about privilege. conversations with other Department of Justice or other White House officials about potential pardons? Not the president, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, without in any way suggesting that I have had any conversations concerning pardons, totally apart from that, uh, there are privileges of communication within the Department of Justice uh, that we share, all of us do. We have a right to have full and robust debate within the Department of Justice. We encourage people to speak up and argue cases on different sides, and uh, those arguments are not I would, I would be hope revealed. Though. Historically, we've seen that they shouldn't be revealed. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.